Please note, for those of you looking for more technical information, that information will be published at the end of this video, as well as an unboxing. Enjoy. Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Russ with rwgresearch.com, and I had the opportunity here uh, to actually test out this awesome little drone. It is called a Parrot Mini Drone, a rolling spider. So check it out. For me, I wanted to know if these kids right here could actually learn how to fly this and not destroy it. So because this thing has a really nice autopilot, I think that they'll learn how to fly it. But in the process, is this thing kid-proof or are they going to destroy it? Watch and find out. You guys are going to see if you can learn, bless you Lily, how to work this. Wow! We got what do you think of that? that. Huh? What is that? You excited? Yeah, Come but here. what is that thing? What is this thing? Look, look how excited Lily is. What's this look like? A spider. It does? And it's got wheels, so what would you call a spider with wheels? Um, a roller spider. You figured that out all by yourself. I didn't even tell you. We're going to see if you guys can learn how to fly this. Okay? Yeah. That's fun. I have no idea what you just said, but okay. So, I want to know if it's kid-proof. This is the first one to test it out on. Yeah, believe me. This is the one that would destroy it. She's crazy. This is controlled with a phone. Now bear with me because later we're going to get to some good stuff like this. Oh! Jeez! Jeez! Oh. <laughs> but for now, back to the kids. But first things first, we got to figure out how to work this thing. What are you eating? A carrot. Okay, here's the instructions. Tell me how it works. I don't remember, Daddy, but it does your size. That's okay, just tell me how this says. I don't know how to read. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we're going to have a really big problem then. Okay, this right here says, the, pa the parent rolling spider is not suitable for use by children under 14 years of age. How old are you? Five. So are you able to use this product? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Good answer. How about you, Dexter? Um, no. That's what I thought. Good answer. Okay. Okay, tell me these steps. One, and one, two, <laughs> and two, three, and four. Good job. All right. So we're ready to go, right? Uh. You got it all figured out? Mm. Okay. Pro, fash, and how? With a carrot. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. You tell me when. Alright, so after I tried to figure it out, I gave my daughter a lesson. Dexter was watching from the side. And let's see if she can ready? figure it out. Okay, let's see if you can fly it. Oh, we lost the prop. Land it, land it. This is how you put a prop on. Even a kid can do it. Hey, you're flying it. <laughs> oh, look at that. The kid can do it. Better than me. Better than Daddy. I can't even fly it. Good job. You gotta hit the button. There you go. Alright, so after a little bit, uh, we crashed it a few times and uh, Riley and Dexter figured out how to use it. And the cool thing was that it has a really cool auto connect feature. And uh, as soon as it's ready to fly, you have this. Try it. Look at that. Auto reconnect. <laughs> oh yeah, did I mention crash? So we did that a few times. And just to give you a primary example, we uh, did this. And that. And this. And that. Oh, and that. Oh. 
Two and eyes. this. Go down. Oh. And a few of those. Oh. A couple of those. <laughs> we did that a few times. <laughs> there you go. And that. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Oh, and that. And that. Oh, we lost a prop. And possibly a few more. <laughs> it was ridiculous oh, okay. how many times we crashed this thing, and it still kept going. <laughs> All right, so after just doing this for a while with my kids, um, the idea was to just be able to hand them the whole device and the phone, which is the remote, and see if they could do this. So here we go. So here we are. This is flight number seven for Riley. Yes. We've flown this thing uh, at least 14 times, and it's still alive. And Riley's going to... Show me how to put the wheels on, put the battery in, turn it on, get it connected to the phone, all by herself. Five-year-old. Can she do it? Go ahead. First, we have to put the battery in. Okay. This way is very easy. Daddy, I just want to put the battery in. And that's how we put the battery in. Now the lights are red. Right, right. Okay. It's turned on already? Yeah. The lights are already right, Dad. Right, the lights are already now they're yeah. green. Now the lights are green. That now they oh, that's in backwards. That's one. Now the lights are on green. Oh. And there we go. It's all ready? Mm -hmm. You ready to fly it? Yep. Well, fly that was easy. Well, fly. Very easy. Alright, well let's see you fly it then. So as you can see, that's actually really good um, for the limited amount of time that they've been actually flying this. That's fantastic, uh, you know, except for this. Why don't you turn it? Oh. <laughs> Boom. So this is, uh, this is flying through the house. We're going to go all the way down the hall. Five-year-old flying uh, mini drone. You ready? This is a plane in the air. Oh my! How'd that feel? <laughs> Not great. You okay? Stung a little, huh? Okay, let's try it again. Alright, so as you can see, um, with a little bit of practice, you know, a five-year-old and my four-year-old, they have been successfully able to fly this. Now, one of the things that they've had a really hard time with is actually the turning uh, and the up and down. Um, they have to stop and really look at the controller and actually make sure their fingers are on the right spot. Uh, the pad on the remote actually moves around. Uh, depending on where you put your finger, it kind of centers it, but that doesn't always work. So, uh, really, the most downside for this guy is the fact that the remote doesn't actually have knobs that you can feel with your thumbs. Um, but ultimately, because you can use the... Um, on the actual phone, you can actually use the accelerometer, right, to actually move this thing around. It was really easy for my kids to pick up. So, successfully... They have indeed learned how to fly the Parrot Mini Drone, uh, Rolling Spider, of course, and not destroy it. Uh, we did manage to break one of the wheels. One of the spokes on the wheels got a little okay, bit uh, of damage on it, but ultimately uh, it still flies just fine and it still is no big deal. Um, the props, however, have definitely taken a beating. And they're going to be need to be replaced, but they're still going, even though we've bent them up like crazy. All right, so check this out. One of the main reasons that the kids are actually able to learn how to fly this thing is because of the autopilot. So I'm trying to actually push this thing, and it is just it, it knows exactly where it's at, and it wants to go back to the correct orientation. So when you're flying it around and you bump into a wall uh, with a normal RC, it just smashes the wall and you're done. Uh, but in this case, this guy is actually just going right back where you put him. Uh, of course, until my daughter touches it. <laughs> you confused it. <laughs> Alright, so another cool feature is that this thing will actually automatically take off. Uh, if you hit a certain button on the uh, remote, 
you can just drop it and it'll just go. So check this out. <laughs> well, I guess you got to put the props on the right side. <laughs> Good thing we didn't try the takeoff again. I get my hand chopped open. Beware. Put the props on the right way. Or this could be you. Oh! 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 Look at that one. That one. That one got me. Yeah, look. Right there. On my hand. See it? open. See it? Pretty good one. Look there, too. Yeah, it cut me two spots. So, so now we know. Don't get too close to it. It'll cut yourself open. <laughs> Down it went. Oh, Daddy, that really is really bad. Yeah. Are you okay? I, say, I, know, you, I know you say that you're going to live. <laughs> I'm going to live, but I am bleeding. On another side note, make sure you actually hit the button. <laughs> So when you actually do this correctly, this is what it looks like. Okay, are you ready? Okay, the eyes are blinking, so it should just take off. Are you ready? Okay, you're flying. Alright, so I did try to confuse this thing quite a bit. And uh, for the most part, it uh, it usually fared out pretty pretty well. So I did try some extreme measures. And that was a little bit less. But if I had some more room and you really launched it into the air, it would probably figure it out pretty good. So I was quite impressed, actually. But it didn't always work. <laughs> just fell out of the sky alright so that was the example of the emergency cutoff which works really well especially in situations like this <laughs> low battery alarm okay so when the battery is low it's at 3% critical battery it's an auto shutdown it will not let you start it there you go <laughs> Eating the couch. Look at that. Eating the couch. Don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> Alright, so I brought this thing out into the wind and did some uh, extreme flying just to see what would happen. So here's a front flip in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally missed the landing. Yeah, so actually this thing uh, works really well. But in the wind, not all the time. There's a backflip. That was easy. All right, so I wanted to bring this into the extreme wind just to see what would happen. And believe it or not, uh, because the wind was pushing against it, it would tilt down and it would kind of uh, level itself and keep itself pretty stationary. Uh, this thing does not have any GPS on it, so quite impressive to keep it that steady. And uh, you can see the flag in the background is quite windy, but it's hanging in there. Alright, so we're about the end of the re, uh, view here, and uh, I just wanted to bring this thing out in the wind like you just saw, and I wanted to fly it around outside, I wanted to see, you know, how it handles out there, and uh, I've learned some valuable lessons and uh, some funny clips here, but uh, honestly, this thing's so small that flying it, uh, you know, even 100, well, it says 66 feet, but flying it 50 feet away from you, uh, it's really hard to see, so it goes so fast that you can barely even see it fly past you. Um, you can see that in these clips. And it gets out of hand real quickly. I can't even see it, honey. Oh my. Oh! Jeez! Jeez! I had no control. Exactly! It is scratched in the middle. I couldn't even see where it was at. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm more worried about the van. Did you pause it? So I've learned something. 
This is a really good inside toy. But outside, it's almost uncontrollably small. And it's still a lot. Alright, so after all that flying and uh, wrecking it many times that hard outside, it was still going. I mean, the, the worst thing that happens if, is the props fall off. I did one time have the motor actually fall out, but just pop everything back on, and thus far it hasn't broke. So I, I'm thoroughly impressed, and uh, quite pleasant to uh, share this review with you. Now, just so you're aware, I do have a lot of experience flying uh, RC stuff. Uh, I also got to fly the Inspire 1, and uh, comparing this to that, you know, this is definitely way higher on the scale than most RCs. But, you know, you can't compare it to an Inspire 1. But hey, for what it is, it's pretty darn cool, and it works really well. And the kids can even learn how to fly it. Well, that is without worrying too much about destroying this thing. It's fairly well kid-proof, according to my tests. If you would like a more technical review, there are plenty of those out there. There's lots of functionality with the remote and all sorts of stuff that could be uh, such in-depth and details that I could post many more videos of this little uh, uh, parrot rolling spider. But for now, the traditional box opening, unboxing here, and also disassembly to just check out what's inside this guy is at the end of this video. So enjoy. God bless. On a side note, if you're interested in all the extra clips from the making of this video, I'll be posting that separately. Make sure you check it out at the uh, YouTube user RWG42985. Not ready. I want to show the, the damage. I've got cut three times and one on my thumb up here because I put the back two blades on the wrong way and it kept flipping backwards and cutting my hand. So, a fair warning. This is Even if this is kid-proof, don't let your kids play with it by themselves. This is the best surprise ever. It is. Well, you have to thank those peoples on the interwebs and the people watch my YouTube channel. You ready to try it? Outside in the wind? It's a little windy right now. Alright, so here we are. The official unboxing portion of this video. The Rolling Spider. This is the box it comes in. It's got a nice seal on it, which I've already cut. Lots of good information on the outside of this thing. So, uh, yeah, let's see what's in this guy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. That's what's in this box. Let's see how's this coming out? I don't have a clue. Oh, there we go. That's packaged nicely. Batteries right here. Easy enough. Looks like the uh, the arm is right here. Got the uh, pamphlet. USB. See if we can get it out of here without breaking it. Packaged well, it ain't gonna shift anywhere, that's for sure. And how does this come off? Ah, it's on a little snap. How about them apples? That's nice. Probably put it back in there if I need to when I'm done. So let's see what we got. We got two wheels. The drone itself, the uh, guide that uh, the wheels go on, USB cable, it's not real long, boom, just long enough to make it work, and the battery, so this little guy, uh, Actually, a lot heavier than I thought, but still pretty light, considering. No wires to be seen. Looks like they've nicely tucked them in here. That's that's pretty good. Alright, so the instructions. I'll read all this fun jazz later. Oh, and of course we got some awesome stickers to put on the front. 
whichever one that you like the best. I'll probably put the kid laughing because, uh, well, that's what it's going to be for. Kids laughing. Oh, look at that. Woo! Talk about a nice fold-out piece of paper. Holy cow, I can't even get this in the shop. Where do I start? Probably in the English section. Huge! Okay, well, we'll read this later. Especially this one, because I don't know how long that's going to take to translate. Woo! Okay, well, that's the unboxing portion of this video. Pretty simple, and, uh, and actually, the video you already watched, I already, uh, been playing with this, but right now, at this point in time, I want to go try this thing out. Let's go find out if it works. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to put the battery in here. And we'll put the wheels on it. I did not read the instructions yet. I want to see if I can figure it out if I don't want to. Ooh, it's all mean-faced. It's got all colored lights going on. Tuh, actually, two different colored LEDs in there or something. <laughs> all right, where do you think this guy clips on to? Ah, right there. Oh, that's nice. Cool. That should be, that should make it kid, uh, kid proof right there. Nice. Break it before I ever get to use it. So it always stays up because it's balanced on top. Oh, there you go. The LEDs are the same color now. Well, they're a different color though. They're green now, not amber. Alright, well. I guess I'll read the instructions to make sure I have to charge this first, because I'm sure I do. Oh, let's put this sticker on here. Happy face. Alright, let's go see what we got. I'm going to read the instructions now. Alright, so I have not flown this yet, but I want to I wanna get a little bit of closer look before I uh, go trying to... Uh, let the kids destroy this thing. Actually, I'm not going to let them try. I'm going to let them fly it. Hope for the best. So let's get a little, uh, let's get a little details. Looks like there's a sensor here and a camera right there. And uh, this thing actually does have rubber feet. You can hear it. It kind of sticks almost. That's actually pretty good because normally they just plastic mold these things and be done with it. I'm assuming that these motors might be in the uh, rubber housing as well, but it appears it's just plastic. So if you can see down inside of there, some goodies down in there. I'm not sure if that's coming in nice. Three pins down there. One little bottom circuit board. It looks like it's just one circuit board right here. USB uh, ports right on the back. Uh, LEDs in the front here. Change colors depending on what's going on, I'm sure. Haven't read the instructions yet. And uh, pop one of these little impellers off. Propellers. Comes off pretty easy. I mean, not that easy. Spin nice and free. Really good little motors. Um, give this thing a little tweak and you can kind of see kind of flexibility it's got. It does have some flexibility. Now, one cool thing is this battery, check it out. This thing is actually a lithium polymer rechargeable battery. Not a lithium ion like you see in most cheapo toys, which this is not a cheap one. Um, but I'm just saying, normally they, they don't use lithium polymer. Um, but RC in the, in the RC industry, we use lithium polymer, so that's pretty good. Uh, 15C continuous discharge, charge at 1 amp max. 3.7 volt, 550 milliamp hour, 2 watt hours. So uh, that, that battery is pretty light. 
and I have an extra battery. The only problem is, is the only way to charge this battery is in this device. So I'd have to take one out, put one in, charge, charge. But then I'd have two when I went somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can buy extra batteries. Now, I did put this in earlier, and it is really pretty tricky to take back out. So in order to take this guy out, you have to pull up on this tab and pull out on the battery all at the same time. And uh, although it can be done... It is a bit tricky, and uh, I've got some nails on my claws here, so uh, it's a little bit easier for me to get these off, but uh, it would be pretty difficult if you didn't have nails. The only thing the only thing back here to pull on is this tiny little bitty tab, and it is tiny. But this big old clip holds it in, so that's nice. But, uh, I mean, ultimately, uh, it's not a real big deal, especially if you only have one battery, but... Uh, gonna be switching them out all the time that's gonna be a little bit of a pain so all in all uh, it's a good looking little good looking little unit all plastic plastic housing wires again run down through here go in here for these motors sensors I don't see any other sensors uh, that I can see on here um, that's about all I can see so uh, yeah, it's, it's not that heavy, but it is heavier than I was expecting. But uh, there's a lot of gadgets on there, too. So let's go give this thing a fly. This weighs hardly nothing. It's pretty light. Looks like it's got a carbon fiber rod on it. And uh, these are quite flexible. Get some good cushion. All right, well, let's go give it a shot. See what happens. All right. So I did a little more looking at this guy. And uh, it appears that right here is a little switch. So when you push this in, you can hear it click. And that actually turns it on. So again, didn't I read the instructions yet? I'm just trying to go off the wall. I want to see what I can figure out before I do that. See how hard this unit is to use without the instructions. But uh, yeah, the other thing I noticed that I did not say, and I should definitely, is that in this box... There are no extra props. So these are the only four that they give you when you buy it. Which honestly, they should pitch in the 10 cents or less worth of props. Because you're almost guaranteed you're going to lose one somewhere in a good crash. So that's the only really negative thing that I can say about this particular unboxing at the moment. Um, I may find out later more things, but uh, no extra no extra. These are the only ones you get, which, uh, honestly, you should include some. Definitely do that, guys. All right, so briefly, let's see what's under the hood of this guy, shall we? All right, well, there it is. That's the whole thing. So uh, I wanted to take it apart to see what kind of uh, guts it has in it. I wanted to see if there was anything uh, replaceable in here. Let's say, for instance, you bent one of these shafts on these motors. Can you get a new motor and replace it? Or if you broke the uh, unibody or the uh, structure here, can you replace it? And uh, I didn't take the motors out, although they do come out. I did, just didn't take them out. There's no need for me to try to take those out. But... Um, Nice little body, nice little motor connectors. Um, they just snap in there. The battery, obviously. A little plastic part that goes on the back of the circuit board. There's a few body parts that snap on here. Um, then you've got the little rubber feet, some screws, the bottom plate, and the uh, propellers. So here's what the good stuff is. So this is actually a sonar right here, and this is a camera. Um, that's probably the USB chip there. I I don't honestly know. Probably wrong. Um, it looks like it has a accelerometer, I believe. That might be the accelerometer. Um, honestly, don't know, but it appears that way. So this camera won't get that close, but uh, I'm not interested in, in exposing the technology here. I'm just interested in uh, showing you what this little beast is uh, is really made out of. So one interesting thing to note... Um, 
this thing, this bottom of the sonar gets so hot, even if it's just sitting here on and not actually running, it gets so hot, uh, very, very hot. So, you know, just wanted to see what was in this guy. I, wa I wanted to see if I could get into the uh, motor drivers to see what's really uh, driving these little motors. I believe these are brushless motors. Um, not 100% sure, but I'm fairly certain. So, anyway, that's all I got for you. I don't think I can focus any closer with this particular camera but uh packed on there that's for sure but yeah you could replace uh one of the motors or the housings or something like that no uh doesn't appear to be a real big problem so not much to it the circuit board itself weighs hardly anything this is really the most of the weight right there this stuff doesn't weigh anything it's really thin light plastic pieces so very good very good